Hi Taurus, it's very, very late, but it's time for our daily get, get together. It's Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages come out for you today, Taurus. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Right now, at the time they're viewing this video, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus, what is going on? Okay, so the very first card you have is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so something new, a new day. Looks like there's a lot of potential here. You have the Nine of Pentacles. You're feeling pretty good, like um, pretty confident. You got some time on your hands here. The Six of Swords, like really feeling like, okay, I'm going to be able to get some things done today. I'm going to be able to get ahead of things. I'm going to have to, I'm going to be able to get ahead of this fight. All of these things that you've got to get done. And then you have Temperance. So this is Sagittarius energy, but you're like slowly getting started on what you need to do. Center card of your reading is the Five of Cups. And then boom, there it is. I felt it coming. I felt it coming. There's a glitch in the plan. There's a glitch in the plans right there in the center of your reading. And it kind of slows everything down. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles. So you might have to pull out your wallet. You might have to pay some money. You got the Wheel of Fortune next. You a change of plans here on the horizon. Something that you didn't see, see coming. And then you have the full Aries energy. And this is something new. All right. So whatever you held in your hand right here. Like, okay, this has a lot of potential. I'm going to do this. And everything's, you know, starting to move along fine here. But boom, right in the center of your reading, something happens. And it changes the whole scene. What does Taurus need to know? And then you have to start moving again with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Um... In a whole different direction. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles. And you have Ten of Wands. Alright, so you got one problem you're holding in, in your hand. It's stemming from, boom, right there in the center of your reading. And then the Ten of Wands. So then things are very, very difficult. Because now you've got to deal with this and that. So, let's go through and clarify the cards. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I just feel like you had this plan, you know? And you could have even waited for this, like, um, with the Three of Wands. It's, it's a ship you've waited for. It's a day you've waited for. It's a time you've set aside Tell me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. The Ten of Pentacles. You might have wanted to work on your home. Um, there's something here about money or family. Something about a home. And you have the King of Swords. Where you're really in your thoughts and your mind. And you're wanting to accomplish what you want to work on here. And then I'm seeing you getting going on it. Yeah, and you're feeling confident like this is going to work out. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Okay, so you have the Ace of Wands. You're giving of something and taking a step back. And I don't know if this is your time or, or what it is. I kind of feel like for a lot of you it's your time. It's like you're... 
setting aside time or setting aside a day to be able to do something in particular. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Or it could be money. The Knight of Cups. You're taking action on this. And the Eight of Swords. Because you, you're taking action on this because you want to get out of this imprisonment of your mind. There's something in your energy that you have put off into the back burner. And it's a project or it's a whole bunch of things that have just piled up over time that need to be done. And they keep bugging you and bugging you and bugging you. And your mind keeps bugging you. And then... You set aside the time, the money, whatever it takes to be able to take care of this bundle of stuff to get it away from out of your mind and start moving forward to where you want to be. But these are things that you could have pushed aside. Could be because you didn't have enough money. The King of Wands and the Ace of Swords having an epiphany moment, a realization here, a new way of thinking. Like, it's almost like you wake up in the morning and you say, I'm going to do all of those things I don't want to do. I'm going to have a day of doing everything I don't want to do. The types of things that you put on the back burner. And here you are, like, finding peace with it. Like, okay, everything's working out. You're getting this done and that done. And then you move on and boom, you hit something here. A block that stops you in your tracks. Tell me why temperance is here. The Emperor, Aries Energy, this is you taking control of these things. And then you have the Queen of Swords really, really up in your mind, up in your thoughts with the Queen of Swords, um, like trying to stay focused. And then you have an Emperor energy here again. So there may be, oh, we actually have the Emperor and the Empress. I called the Empress an Emperor. This is a new deck. And the name of this deck is Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms, by the way. Okay, so you're going to involve your partner here in this at this point, okay? Because something's changing right here where... It's almost like you're thinking to yourself, okay, this is a glitch in the plans. All right, this is a glitch, but I may need to call in a little bit of help. I'm seeing you getting a little bit of help there. We have the emperor and the empress. I don't know who this person is to you, but they seem to be like your partner. And then in the center of your reading, you have the five of cups. Tell me why the Five of Cups is here. You're trying to find out information here. All right. On how to move forward. What direction to move into. And... Um... Kind of see disappointment here, Taurus. Like some type of something is disappointing to you. Even though you've got your partner involved or you got someone here involved with you, almost like someone has like a broken down car or something calling in help, whatever it is. I feel like this person shows up, but you're, but 
it's it's not helping. Tell me why the Page of Swords is here. The Eight of Cups. It's just not helping. This love or whoever this person is, it's just not helping. Why are you walking away? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Magician to come up with a new plan. So even the two of you together here, putting both of your minds together, there needs to be a regrouping, a new plan. And so I'm seeing you looking at your money or something here about pentacles. So your money, your time, how you want to spend it. Because whatever you were, whatever this new opportunity is or this new day, this new project of trying to get things put together, it's not going to work. Um, and something could set you back here a little bit financially. Tell me why the Queen of Pentacles is here. And so you may be looking at a different, a different, a different place to invest your money or your time. The Five of Swords. Yeah, see, something just isn't worth the fight. Whatever you're putting mon money or time into, there's a major like hiccup here in the center of your reading where it's just not working out. And so you're you're going to be changing the plan. And I see it changing right here, the wheel of fortune. Tell me why the wheel of fortune is here. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. You're, there's something here that you have to keep fighting with. And for some of you, this is a person or a marriage. That's not for all of you. For some of you, this is love. Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands. And I see a soul connection coming into your energy. Like, this is too fast. But the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups. There's something new that is even better than what was before, than what the original plan was. So you're going to feel bummed out. I see that you're going to feel bummed out, but things are going to work out better than what you planned. And you have the hanged man here. This is Pisces energy. There's a need to... Um, Look at the bigger picture here. Yeah, because you're. I'm seeing you being up in your head with the Nine of Swords, worried about this ending. Death is Scorpio energy. And I feel like there's like this new investment that you're going to be making. I just see blessings coming out of this new this new thing that's that's going to come out of this mess. It's almost, to me, Taurus, it's almost like you're trying to tie up all of these loose ends. You're trying to wake up, um, go through the, like, saying, okay, today I'm going to do all of the things that I don't want to do, right? And then there's a glitch in the plan, and all of a sudden... You're worried. Things sink down and out. And then all of a sudden, all of those things that you were going to patch together, they don't matter anymore. Because you have, like, this letting go of it all. 
All right, with the fool, just letting it all go. Why is the fool here? And it's a feeling of freedom. It's nothing is stopping you now. Nothing's trying to pull you back anymore. The Eight of Wands. And these are very fast moving energies. You might be traveling. You might be moving. But I'm seeing you just... There's not even the energy of... This kind of feels like risk to me. But there's not even the energy in your mind of... Oh, no, I shouldn't do this. I need to stop and think about it for a while. And this goes on for months and days and more months and more days. But no, there's not that. This is a snap decision. I'm going, I'm, I'm letting this go. I'm done and going, moving forward. Knight of Pentacles into a new direction where you know what's going to work. There's no more trying. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Strength, Leo energy, and the moon. Pisces, Cancer energy with the moon. <coughs> I feel like it feels so risky. Like you don't see where you're going. But it gives you this incredible strength, like this feeling of possibilities, like wiping the slate clean. And it's a really good free feeling that I'm getting off of this. But at first I see you being worried and like, shoot, it didn't work, darn it. And getting upset and then it's like just letting it go. And then you have the Two of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Wands. So there's something here that you're juggling with the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to keep up with several different things at once. Which is why you're putting some of these, uh, I don't want to do that right now. And you put it, you throw it over here for tomorrow. Uh, I don't want to do this today either. And you throw it over there for tomorrow. And they're all building up into the Ten of Wands. And so, I'm seeing you juggling a whole bunch of this, a whole bunch of this type of energies, and you're breaking. Th you're going to be breaking free of some type of a habit. Sorry, you guys had a piece of hair on my sleeve. Tell me why the two of pentacles is here. And you keep showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles. Like, it's something about your stability, your money, your home. And the Five of Swords, like, just um, done, with, done with this juggling. It's not getting you anywhere. And just throwing down your swords and just going done and walking away. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Judgment. This is your decision that you're making here with judgment to drop it all. The chariot, cancer, justice, Libra energy, and an ending again. Ten of swords. Letting it end. And it's kind of painful. But right after you get your justice... Well, let me put it this way. Where you get your justice is in stepping out of your comfort zone and seeing some type of truth. There's something here that you need to set yourself free from, Taurus. All right. So let's get some advice from the universe. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? First quarter moon in Leo, be humble.
first quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. Be humble and assess the situation. And on the bottom of the deck, first quarter moon in Scorpio, release your blocks. All right, Taurus, so these are the messages that um, are coming through for you today. And um, <coughs> the daily confirmation <coughs> um, I'm sorry, the daily affirmation is everything that's good right here, right now. Sorry, Taurus. Everything is good right here, right now. All right, write that down. Write it down in the comments. Keep that in your mind. Things are going to go as they should to take you to a better place. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.